All right. Oh man, you look fucking lovely. Uh, yeah, can I, can I, um, can I, um... Necrophages. I got the grave hags, actually. I wanted to look at that. Cremation now. That's one thing men could learn from gnomes. Burying bodies out in the fields, why? It's like laying out a welcome mat for monsters. Best case scenario, some ghouls will sniff them out, eat their fill, and be on their ghoulish way. What if, gods forbid, a grave hag takes to feeding at your cemetery? You'll have no end of trouble. Be monsters' names fit as well as the grave hags. As one might guess, these creatures resemble aged, deformed women and later near graveyards and battlefields. Grave hags feed on human corpses and, in particular, on rotten marrow, which they slurp from human bones using their long, prehensile tongues. Once a hag has devoured all the corpses within reach, she turns to killing men and burying them in the cemetery as she waits for them to decompose. Vulnerable against black blood, Necrophage, Yurden, and Quen. And then Mortart. Somebody's doing some cooking. This it's a human femur, a child. Carol of Rivia. Most grave hags really attack humans, preferring instead to feed on the rotten remains they dig out of graves. Yet some individuals grow bold over the years and begin sneaking into huts to steal children and kill the elderly. Just such a monster was tormenting the inhabitants of Lindenvale. The witcher knew this grave hag would put up a fierce fight. We'd have to watch out for her powerful claws, capable of smashing through any block or parry, and her long venomous tongue. So it is venomous, fantastic. He also realized her attacks would be so quick, not even his mutated reflexes would be able to keep pace, meaning only judi er, judicious use of your sign would... Uh, would all... Okay, interesting. I never used it. I probably should have figured that out. Slow her down, huh? The outcome of the fight was not hard to predict. Grave had perished in the very graveyard which had heretofore uh, served as her feeding grounds, and her body was dumped in a grave she had dug with her own claws. Nice. Alright, but now we got specters. Jenny of the Woods. And is she a plague maiden? What the hell is she? It is said. True love's flame is never extinguished. This sad truth is the reason why Zula of Midcops, whom an early death had separated from her beloved, was unable to find peace in the next life, and instead returned to haunt her former en Enverons as a night wraith. Oh. Alright, I'll read that in a second. Fitting such, or fighting such an apparition is extremely difficult. Night wraith will form Image of his, yeah, images of herself to confuse her opponent and aid her in battle. She herself can take on an immaterial form, rendering her vulnerable to blows. Invulnerable to blows. Best way to force her out of the state. Yarden, okay. Can they follow up with Igni while she is caught? Most important of all, however, is this. Never attempt to fight one in the middle of the night when the mood hangs high in the sky. Oh. Alright. Night Wraiths. Night Wraiths extend exclude or exclude in this immense sadness this helpless wrath i fear them same as anyone but most of all i feel sorry for them i think i've read this one i'm not sure i'll do it in a second i have to kill this fly in my room fly must die compared to other creatures of the night catacans necrets and werewolves for example night wraiths and their rare cousins dusk wraiths haven't i fought a dusk wraith or no i fought a noon wraith okay uh, I don't know why I thought fucking Dusk Wraith. Might not seem all that dangerous. After all, one might ask, how much harm could a pale, withered woman in, in a tattered dress do? The answer, quite a bit. Instead of finding out, or finding this out the hard way, avoid crossing fields and meadows at night at all costs. Don't do it at night. Don't do it at noon. Don't do it. 
at dusk, just don't go outside. That's what they're telling you. Like noon rates, night rates are only found in rural areas. Travelers fall victim to them most often. But if legends are to be believed, they also sneak into huts at times and murder peasants in their sleep. Lovely. When they attack, night rates remain material for most of the time, meaning physical blows pass right through them. They only take on more tangible form for brief moments. Yep, when weakened, they will create several projections of themselves. Okay. Turn to material in such time it's difficult to wound. Yurden. You're not safe from them during the day. Is it nighttime right now? Am I fighting this in a bad time? Alright, so Yurden, Spectre Oil, and Moon Dust. Well. First off, I'm equipping some Spectre Oil, because that's needed. And we got our new sword, too, that I get to test out. I also have to get some fucking Gurdon up in this bitch. Ooh. I'm glad you're angry and stupid. Less bullshit I have to deal with. I don't know why it said Igni. So I think I'm just gonna use Yurd and, and do whatever the fuck I want. Oh, you fucking bitch. And I'm liking them big damages. Give me some crits. Show me what. Confused? Dazed? Spooked. Ah, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I got some of my health. I get it, you're a piece of shit. Fuck off. Why do they always gotta be more powerful when they're like specific types? You know? Or just specific things in general. Oh. I got two charges left. And, all right. Apply some more of that oil. I wish my Yurden was larger. This is ridiculous. That crit was for 500. That felt good. All right, hang on. I gotta find these other fuckers. No. No. No gaining health from me is bad. Stop that shit. Ooh, you appeared right in my my trap. You have a you have done the trap card thing. Fucking bitch. Ooh, this damage is good. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, that wasn't good. Alright, hang on, I gotta put this down. Come on, you got like two hits left if I land some good ones. Oh, that feels so great. I love the big numbers. Ah. Spectre Dust, Essence of Wraith, Night Wraith Hair, Dark Essence, Night Wraith, Night Wraith Mutagen, and another sword and a Night Wraith Trophy. Man, these are fantastic. Why haven't I been doing fucking contracts? What does that give me? Just bonus experience? All right. Fair enough. Man, imagine if I could have multiple of those. That'd be great. I just put them everywhere. Put them all over, Roach. Um, what the hell was I gonna do? I was gonna look at that other weapon I got. What's this? Uh, it's a steel sword. Ooh. Critical hit damage bonus compared to Ardent Quen that. All right. And freeze, critical hit damage bonus, it's 25. It just does more damage in general. Also has a 10% chance to stun. Sure, why not? That thing looks cool, too. I've gotten two relics. Because why the fuck not? Alright. Well, let's go collect my reward, I guess. Nice to get some equipment. After all this time. Roach, I'm too lazy to walk the entire way. Come on, buddy. Faster. Let's a fucking go. Mm -hmm. 
That is a tree. I am fucking dumb. Uh, voila. Right, don't mind me, I'm just gonna climb over your fence because fuck walking in through the door. What's up? Greetings. What do you want? Shut your mouth. Jenny of the Woods is gone. Got rid of her. She'll not be back. Nope. No. I know how to dispatch night wraiths for good. I, of course. Your reward as agreed. Many thanks to ye, Master Witcher. Of course. Farewell. And I'll tell your peasants to stop hating me. On your way. Guess then I won't fucking do shit. How much money do I even have right now? I have a decent amount. All right. And on to the next one. I think I'll do one more before I stop for the day. Uh, because we have one more contract. The swamp thing that's actually above my level, which makes me super happy. God, I have to run all Come this on. way. Can I fast travel there? I hope I can, because I, as much as I love roaming around, I don't have any decoctions or anything going on. So there's fucking really no point. <sighs> Alrighty. Only 200 steps away? Alright, let's do it. Let's run through this area so that I can fight some drowners that I really don't want to fight, and I'll probably just run past because fuck drowners. Fuck off. Put away the sword, girl. We're not doing this. And there's a lot of these fucking assholes. Whew. It's a good thing I'm fast. Is that a fucking hag? No, it's another drowner. It looked like a hag. I was confused. Yeah, just keep running. Alright. Well, what's up? Careful, sir. A monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist and you'll never see home again. That's why I'm here. Tell me more about the monster. This monster, tell me more. Only seen it once myself, and that from afar and past dusk. Thought it were a man at first, then it turned, and I saw eyes burning like coals and a jaw full of fangs, one next to the other. Humanoid, nocturnal. Hmm. First attack. Remember when it happened? A week passed, near about. It was then Boren vanished. Merrick and Tomil went looking for him, didn't come back either, them two. I were feared. Now none dare venture into the bog. Camp stands deserted, and the peat there, master, it's the best sort. Black as pitch and oily, good for fuel and. Fascinating, but staying with the topic at hand. Hmm. I can help for a fee. Assume you put up the notice in Down Warren. Aye, twere me. Good to know someone reads them. Paid a scribe a dozen eggs to write it up. I can help for a fee. Course. Why, even an ox don't pull a plow for free. All right. How much are you willing to pay? I'm afraid I'll need more than an ox needs. How much are you willing to pay exactly? Two forty-two. About two seventy. Oh, master, you value your services dear, but so be it. I'll agree to that. All right. Let's do All it. Right, time I got to work. Where'll I find this monster? Start south of here, but beware. Bad poxy air hangs o'er the marsh. Stings your eyes, claws at your throat. Claws so hard you could choke. All right. Well, let's figure out what's killing people, huh? Hmm. Can be attacked by more drowners, probably. Lovely. Can't wait. What the fuck? Did, did he? They're just manifesting out of the air. You seeing this shit? What in the hell? That scared the living fucking hell out of me. All right, you know we're going down. Drowners don't just appear out of thin air. There's some bullshit going on here. Bullshit. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out momentarily, friend. God, those are satisfying, though. Hmm. 
I'm not even using Necrophage oil and I almost two shot these things. Feels good, man. Feels good. Drown our brain, which I can use to make more swallow if need be. It's good. All right, what do we got? That. Interact. Oh. Interesting. But why? Tracks masked with magic. This is getting interesting. But why? Dead Different dude. claw marks. Guess a few individuals feed here. Hmm. No ordinary felt this. The odor. Metallic almost. Alright, you know, you're pissing me off, so I want to kill you. Thanks. Give me a brain, asshole. Oh, that doesn't even give me a breathable area? Son of a bitch. I had hoped, at least. Oh, a dead guy. Even have time to pull out his weapon. Monster must have been concealed. Surprised him. Guess mm. I'm dealing with an old foglet hiding behind an illusion. Ah, I was right. Ignis Fatus. It's all right. Glossary. Necrophages. Foglets are necrophages, huh? Foglets. If night ever catches you in the swamp, stay put and wait for dawn, even if it means standing waist deep in water with leeches crawling down your trousers. Most important of all, if you see a light in the fog, never, and I mean never, go towards it. Fog is the traveler's foe. In the forest, it can make one lose one's way. At sea, it can send one sailing into, into the rocks. Yet, such dangers are nothing compared to the monsters known as foglets, which sometimes lurk within it. These creatures have powerful arms and claws. Like, I don't even know what the fuck those are. Yet what makes them truly dangerous is their mastery of deception, beguilement, and disorientation. Many times they need not attack at all, instead simply driving their prey into madness or into boggy marshlands, after which they wait patiently for it to drown in the muddy waters. Great. And now we have an older foglet. The monster haunting the peat bogs of Velen turned out to be an ancient foglet. These exceptionally long-lived creatures, some have even dwelt on this earth for over 200 years, growing stronger and stronger all the while. Blows dealt by foglets of such age carry so much power, blocking them is out of the question. These foglets possess the ability to move extremely quickly, and not even Yurden can slow them down. Furthermore, they can melt completely into the mist, then suddenly rematerialize to strike from behind. Wearing heavy armor or making good use of the Quen sign is highly recommended. Alright. Sounds good. Navigate the illusions to find the foglet. Let's do it. Swamp thing. An old foglet. Mm, Alright. Ah. There's something here. Need to use the. Why do we still have this thing, huh? <coughs> At least it's breathable in here. Pretty. Concerning, but pretty. Fuck are those? I hear something moving. Yeah, there's something over there, all right. Ah, oh, it's just a regular foglet. What the? Why are you attacking your friends, asshole? Why are they all level zero? Is this an illusion? Oh my fucking god, ow! You get the fuck back here, you little piece of shit. Get the hell down from there. Why are you why are you on the ceiling? I'm gonna die. The level four foglet. Fuck you. Would you get down from there? Fucking ow. Motherfucker. I don't even know why I used that. Alright, I don't I don't approve. 
of your ability to be all the way up there, man. These things are tough for being level four. Fuck you. Feel the crits, man. Feel my crits. Fuck off and die. Good lord. There's one of them. Bastards are strong. Must be the fog. Yeah. It's enhancing other foglets, I guess. The more you know. Nothing else around here. All right. There's a dead dude down here. Someone made it down here, or they dragged him down here. Who knows at this point?